Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu salamu ala rasulillah. The Somali government is truly disappointed today with the Ethiopian government led by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed who is trying to justify its illegal actions of infringing upon Somalia's sovereign unity and territorial integrity. Despite our fierce objection and international condemnation, we've said many times that, and I will say it again, Somalia is not ready to consider legal, something that is not legal. The MOU, the recent MOU that has been signed by the Ethiopian government with the Somali Regional Authority of Northern Regions of Somalia, Somaliland, is illegal in the international law and it is a violation of all universally accepted standards and charters of the AU and the United Nations. Ethiopia is misleading the world by claiming that they need an access to the sea. The question is not an access to the sea. The question is how Ethiopia wants an access to the sea. Somalia has said many times, and we again repeat it again, we are ready to provide access, but we want to provide access to our coastal areas by Ethiopia the way Uganda accesses the sea to Kenya and Tanzania, the way Rwanda accesses the sea, the way Burundi and South Sudan accesses the sea, the way the 16 African countries that are landlocked accesses to the sea. Accessing to the sea has internationally accepted standards that are mentioned in many provisions and the world in the United Nations UNCLOS, in the African Union Charter, in so many other platforms. The accession of the sea and all those countries who are landlocked and has access to the sea through their neighboring coastal states, they do not pursue an annexation of part of those countries to their country. The MOU that Ethiopia signed with this regional authority is nothing more than an accessing part of Somalia to Ethiopia and changing the borders of Somalia. Somalia has categorically objected that. In another incident that I would like to shed light on is what has happened this morning here in Addis Ababa. This morning when I, when I prepared myself to go, to come and attend the closed session of the summit, the Ethiopian security has blocked my way. They refused me to come out of the hotel and go on with my cars and entourage to come to the sea. It took me a long time to stay there, and at the end, I come with another president's cars and entourage. And when we came to the African Union headquarters again, the two presidents of us, the president of the Republic of Djibouti and myself, again, we were blocked to enter the African Union headquarters. A soldiers with a gun in, in, in front of us and denied an access to this facility. This is the behavior that we are seeing. And I heard that it was not me, other heads of the states also were there, who have experienced similar, similar behavior. The nice words of Prime Minister Abiy has no significance. His actions and the actions of the Ethiopia makes the significant. And the actions of Ethiopia as of today is to annex part of Somalia to Ethiopia and to disrespect 
the African Union Summit participants are me. So the question is now, how Africa can be seen as an emerging power by being part of the G20 and many other forums, when some members of the African Union, of the African continent, are not respecting the very principles that the African Union has established in its founding. Somalia, as a founding member of the African Union, we do not deserve that treatment from the country that hosts the African Union. As I said, I repeat again, nice words will never, have, will never help Africa as a continent and as an individual country. And seeking an individual hegemony by one country in Africa will not help that country and in Africa, particularly using the nice face of the African continent. Would like to loudly say to our African Union brothers, the behavior of Ethiopia is not an acceptable one, uh, that it's compatible with the 21st century. I thank you. Yes. Uh, how do you say that uh, Ethiopia chose to uh, find that memorandum to understand it with the Somalia and not with the Republic of Somalia? Did they approach you before that and ask you to, 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 to have a deal with them? No. A couple of months ago, we heard from the media that the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, saying that we will have an access to the sea by peaceful means or by forceful means. And I personally asked him, what do you mean, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, by forceful means? He never gave me a, an a adequate answer. All he said was, no, we are not going to fight, we are not going to war, we are not going to attack or do anything against Somalia. Ethiopia has a five neighboring coastal states from Sudan, Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia, Kenya. So they have ample of opportunity to access to the sea. But Ethiopia does not want to access, does, is not looking for access, access to the sea. They are looking to annex a territory. How, on what rationale it is in the 21st century that a country goes to local authority and sign with them a territory, they call it the corridor, and sign with a regional authority, naval base, and sign with a regional authority with a, how this is susceptible to it. The intention, the wording of Ethiopia and the intention of Ethiopia are quite different. I would like to emphasize and say it again and again. Ethiopia wants to annex part of Somalia. This is no. This is not the first time. Look, first of all, by doing that, all over the world, the African Union, the IGAD regional country, the United Nations, the Arab League, all of individual countries, all of them denounced the action of Ethiopia as uh, illegitimate and illegal. This is a public. It has been there. We've had an emergency meeting of IGAD in Kampala. The Prime Minister of Ethiopia refused to attend that, that meeting. So it is there on the record. And uh, we, Somalia, have been, this is not the first time we have a dispute with a neighboring country. We have a dispute with Kenya. We negotiated when we were unable to understand the, the best civilized manner that the modern states to deal was to go to the International Court of Justice. We went there, and the International Court of Justice made a 
a verdict on our conflict, and we agreed, and it's done. We never fight. Uh, Ethiopia has never signed it. Uh, sorry, Kenya has never signed it, uh, an agreement with a local administration in Somalia. Never tried to infringe the, the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of Somalia. They claim that this is our territory, and this is our territory. So borderline. This is not borderline. Going through Ethiopia, hundred, going through Somalia, hundreds of kilometers, and reaching the sea, and from the sea all the way to Ethiopia. Finally, are you open to negotiation? Is there any effort being uh, deployed here during this summit to create a kind of a Osma or a meeting to you? No, no, nothing tangible is there other than the words that Prime Minister Abiy said. As of, as of now, I'm speaking to you. There are senior military officers in Somaliland preparing the ground for Ethiopia to go, to go in. That's what's going on practically and in action terms inside Somalia. And that's what, and the nice words that the Ethiopian government is saying is that. So actions and the statements of Ethiopia is making, Ethiopia may go, send its forces to Somalia as it did in the past, but the end has always been very clear. Whenever Ethiopia sends its force forcefully and illegally to Somalia, we know the consequences. And I, I don't think that Ethiopia was happy with those past consequences and will not be happy with Ethiopia. This is our country. Even if it takes even if it takes centuries, we will not concede or we will not uh, accept what Ethiopia is doing. Yes. No, Somalia has only and only one war, and that war is against Al-Shabaab. Ethiopia, by signing this uh, MOU, it has become an opportunity for Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab was in a position where the Somali community was not allowing to recruit new uh, forces. Now, with this, Al-Shabaab has got a platform and a claim that they are going to defend Somalia, they are going to defend the territory of Somalia. And then my government, they are blaming that this government is not, cannot defend the territory. That it has been provided. And since the last, <coughs> first, since 1st January, when the MOU was signed, we are receiving a very reliable information and reports that Al Shabaab has recruited six to 8,000 new recruits in that one month. So this is just taking the, the, the focus away from the regional, uh, continental, and the global challenge of terrorism that we are fighting as a Somali. The African Union is fighting for that. And we have, the African Union was doing that fight with Somalia for the last 16 years. Yes, Ethiopia was part of the African Union, but that, that does not give them legitimacy to take part of Somalia. So Somalia has only and only one war to fight, and that war is with Al-Shabaab. No other war we have or we are intending to have, unless, unfortunately, we are compelled to do so.